why would you just not use another bullet and kill him? Because you already announced that you're there by shooting him once. Pull the trigger one more time. Sweeping of, of the first person shooter sweeping across his buddies, that's not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. <laughs> you have a gun, a, a handgun, and they have an, a combat helicopter. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeff Reeves. I'm a Navy SEAL. Today on Experts React, we're gonna be watching some night missions from Call of Duty. Let's do this. Before we get started with today's video, we wanted to let you know about Gameology's crazy new channel, Gameology Forecast. This is their new page for all things gaming, teaching you everything you need to know in the world of video games. Now I know, having fun while learning new things, who would have thought? Jam-packed with content not seen before from Gameology, tips, tricks, and hacks for that one game you've been struggling with, top 10 videos, discovery compilations of new or hidden gems, reviews of newly released games, and more. Also, don't forget to check out Gameology's other channels, Send Noobs, for your fill of virtual reality and free games, as well as Gameology Shorts, which is full of all the short but sweet gaming videos you could ever want. So those are three potentially brand new channels for you to go and check out right after this video. That alleyway looks a little bit too narrow for a double stack coming down the line. So our first person shooter moving down should be pointed up at covering something, you know, window or something on a rooftop or another one of the way. Like the guy on the far side, he should be doing the same. Where'd the ladder come from? Hmm, that's interesting. So with the use of night vision, you definitely want to use a bit of ambient light to look around, then night vision is kind of a hindrance at that point. So almost flashlights would be better in some cases. But in the area which they are now completely dark, obviously it works to their advantage. But coming from the kitchen, which was lit up into this, probably if you're fifth in the stack, you probably shouldn't be sweeping your buddy just like that. But at this point, the stairwells are awful. You want to get out of them as fast as possible. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. It's fascinating to blankly shoot back into a wall because you don't know where your target is or if there's any innocence on the inside. If everything is deemed as kill on the target, well then that's one thing, but it's just such a big thing about uh, innocence these days. The importance between finishing the mission or helping your friends is you want to finish the mission, but you want to do it in a, in a sense where you get all your men home so you don't have to go tell their wives or girlfriends why they're dead, but yet you want to have as less innocent casualties as possible, because we all know the media is gonna come and destroy you. It's a shame that you have to think about such things when you're in a target and you're getting shot at through walls and stuff like that, but it's almost like there is no if or, you have to do both in today's day and age. I mean, it's good, you don't wanna kill innocent civilians, don't get me wrong, that, that, that's very bad. But at the same time, where you're thinking about how is this gonna be perceived in the media versus the job that you're doing, you shouldn't have to th be thinking like that when you're on target. So before you make a movement up there, you better check you have a buddy behind you, because no, there's no one-man entries, you wait until the train is with you. As we say, we don't want Rambos. No, get down, get down! Don't shoot! Don't shoot, please! They were going to kill don't me! Move. They Stop. locked me in here! That's interesting that they were able to see that on the desk, knowing what it was before they shot at her. But good on them. I mean, it's not a wrong call just because she was able to speak English, act like an innocent, and then be able to neutralize the threat before something even worse happened. Because that could, that could have been linked to detonation building, it could have been her with a bomb vest on, it could have been something to the side. That's a difficult shot to see when you're at a distance, on night vision, you don't know what that object is specifically. Again, walking straight up to a door like that, not good. You wanna be off to the side, so in case bullets are come flying out, like his two uh, teammates were, not just running right up to it. If the, Depending on what the mission is at the time, for them to blow past all those potential barriers that nobody is hiding behind them, ready to shoot back, they just went by all that stuff. That's something to consider as you go, so eyes should be looking left and right as you come across, as you move past that, just to make sure that nobody's sitting there ready to flank you. Stacking on the door right in front, not a good idea. Wanna come in from an angle. Again, sweeping of, of the first person shooter, sweeping across his buddies, that's not acceptable, not acceptable at all. He would never in that second person or third person in the stack take that shot, it's too close. He should be ready to bring his weapon down to engage, but he'd be shooting him right in the back right now. One person entry, never a good thing. Always two people go in a minimum. You never have one person going alone. I like how he actually took a knee behind the bed, used a little bit of uh, concealment. No idea. Negative on the wolf. But even then, he could have taken a better position. You would never walk in front of him on that. It would be on me and stack on the door. The locals know, again, depending upon, you want to believe 
or you might have to make sure that what they're saying is the truth. They're not setting you off for failure. When talking to the locals, they know the place like the back of their hand. They know the movements of what's been going on lately inside their buildings, inside their neighborhood. And so they can help you determine or answer your questions that you have to, for you to execute your mission. I understand the need for video games, but there's always so much chatter on the radio. Oh, it's a police car? I was like, I probably won't have a white car in the middle of the night, but it looks like a local authority car. Moving pretty fast at night though. That's impressive without making a sound. So if you're moving like a file formation, you would have your areas, desert, or your, your areas of fire. So if the guy in the front is facing forward, the next guy behind him has either right or left and it goes all the way back. You wouldn't be everybody facing forward. That'd be something cool to do in a video game for them. Like if somebody's in front of you to high port the weapon or drop the barrel, low port it. If those are the bad guys, they're moving pretty fast. Okay, standing in front of a door. That's fast, like, like how the guy on the right charged in front of the dude that had the direct shot on him. So nobody's reacting to the light being shot? It's funny, even with silencers, there is a bit of a sound. So the fact that nobody reacted to, well, there's no yelling, screaming, gunfire, shooting in the potential directions is quite interesting. It definitely lessens the decibels, but it's not like what you see in the movies. So this is interesting. So why would you ditch your primary weapon, which has a fast, a better maximum effective range for a secondary weapon like this, when you're more accurate with a primary weapon? And now he's back up to a primary. Why don't you just keep the primary? Yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't shoot. Again, it's all depending upon like the speed in which you're coming down, how you're coming down. But to ditch my primary weapon for a, a handgun, which is out here, which is much more difficult to, because it's, it's only being held by like your hand versus being able to pull in your primary weapon to have it supported by your body. Even if you were coming down Aussie style like he was, you could stop, take that shot much easier I think than you could with that. Because then also like your, your secondary weapon is secured inside a holster. Where'd your primary one go? Unless you secure that behind you. But then, it, I mean, otherwise it could be flopping around. I wouldn't ditch my primary weapon for a secondary personally. Because what happens if a target's further away and you need to shoot him? You have a much better optic on your primary weapon than you do your, your handgun. Again, the dude in front of you just got shot and you're just gonna stand there waiting for him to get it. Why aren't you receiving a barrage of gunfire? It appears there's always, he's running around just himself. Why would you just not use another bullet and kill him? because you already announced that you're there by shooting him once. Why use the hand-to-hand? -hand? Just pull the trigger one more time. Like for to sneak up behind him and use some hand-to-hand -hand or a knife kill, that would be important. So what's the point of rotating the weapon for the, for the shot? rather than just looking through your optic. I don't understand that. It seems like the rotation of the weapon obviously puts the laser on, but the laser usually is on all the time. If you have night vision on, some optics have the capability to look down on with night vision, others you don't, which is why you have the laser on the side. But to shoulder it, there's no reason to rotate it over. I'm not a fan of walking down the center of the hallways like the character is doing. You want to stick to the side to lower your signature and making sure that nobody's left. Which is also fascinating because you only have a set amount of bullets when you go off on a mission. You just don't pick up a random supply as you walk from place to place. So you gotta be judicious yet effective with your with your rounds as he's coming around the hallways as he's coming around the corners you don't definitely don't want your hands being stuck straight out because anybody coming around can see that you want to present them at the at the last possible moment and take the shot so I would back up a little bit in that because his hands and his gun are already in the next room anybody in the corners could see that so I'd back up you're not losing anything you're gaining actually a technical advantage so this is a good point. Because he went through and took, I would say, some unnecessary shots to make sure people were dead or whatnot, or utilizing bullets when you didn't need to, this is why he's running around now doing a, a mount scenario or an urban scenario with a handgun. And it's not really effective when you're using against guys with AK-47s that have longer standoff distance, more firepower. But if it's what you got, it's what you got. So in that scenario there, everybody on the target is bad because you can barely see the, the bad guy in this game and he's able to take the shots and be effective. Hopefully they're bad guys and not a random innocent. See, this would be a good time right now to actually say, hey, do you have an extra mag? Put the secondary away, pick up your primary, borrow a mag from your buddy and get you back to your primary weapon. Not be running around with a pistol. So you have a gun, a, a handgun, and they have an, a combat helicopter. A gunship. <laughs> I would not feel superior in this moment. Absolutely, do not let go of your, your hostage at that time. Hell no. Your hand is on him at all times and you're pretty much driving him forward or if he says turn left, but you never let go of him. You're responsible for him once you get him.
Well, that was a lot of fun checking out the different night missions that Call of Duty has and all the real world type things they bring into it. My dude is a video game. But if you do wanna see more videos like this, go to Gameology on Instagram and YouTube. If you wanna see more of me, check out Official Jeffries on Instagram. And if you're someone that likes to do some of this stuff real world, such as paintball, or if you're military law enforcement, go check out shadowworksgroup.com to get some good pieces of kit to help protect you on the line. For more of these videos, check out Gameology on Facebook and YouTube. I'll see you next time. Can I, uh, when I do this, can I just like kind of roll with it and then when I'm, it's good, it's good? Fantastic. Jam packed. <laughs> sorry. No, no, it's fun. Gameology forecast, sorry.